Okay, we're now ready to start the machine. And the first thing we need to do is switch the machine on. You can see that it's currently in the stop position. That basically shuts the engine off. So therefore this position must be allowing you, it's got a little flash there. In other words, electricity is going to come into play here. And you literally flick it down. There it is down, that's on, this is off, that's on. Other machines simply have a switch that says on and off. They're not necessarily up here by the handle. This is very useful because you can switch it off uh, very easily while operating the machine. Um, and obviously you need it on to be able for it to be on. And when you're going to start the machine for the first time, you need to put the choke on. And this is the choke. Chokes are situated in different places on different machines, but basically they're just a lever. The choke is off there, the choke is on there. Now, we need to be lucky and, and uh, a little bit fortunate that we might be able to start the machine on the first pull. Whoops, sorry about my hand getting in the way. Uh, there, there's the pull called you need to pull that and I might have to do that and not film it and you might have to rely that I did that uh, but I'm gonna have a go it may not be easy to hold the phone and get enough energy I've got the stand up always worth to check yeah I've got the stand up I am on oh another thing you must know sorry I nearly forgot <coughs> this lever has a the machine in neutral at the moment and there, and there there is a sorry i'm not filming it there's forward and there's neutral you definitely need it in neutral in actual fact if you had the handle down here the engine would not start it's a safety device so but you could be pulling away for hours thinking well i wonder why the machine's not working well, if, the, if the, the arm was down there, it wouldn't work because the engine's actually cut, won't actually start. It won't ignite at that point until you've got it going. So you need the arm in neutral for the engine to kick into place. We'll come back to that device when we're actually moving the machine forward. So I'm going to try and do this with my less strength left hand. managed to just get enough energy there to start that. With your strong hand you won't need a lot of effort to make that happen at all. But my left hand is not so strong so I gave it quite a bit. Now you can hear the engines ticking over but remember we've got the choke in the open position and we want to shut that and now you can hear that the engine kicked in nicely there and uh, so to come back to that again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch the engine off so you can hear me. So to go back through that process again, there goes the engine off. You see, I switched that off. You have the end. You have the end. Uh, the ignition on. You have the drive in neutral. You have the choke open. And you pull on the cord two or three times maybe don't don't stress out if it's six or seven times just walk away for a little while let it settle try again and this machine very reliable I must say a great investment which I purchased for the club it is a very reliable machine and it starts very quickly so that's how you start the machine. I'm gonna go back through it one more time. I've got the stand on, I've got the ignition on. I'm safe because I'm in neutral. i got the choke open, and I'm gonna try and pull it with my stronger arm now. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the choke off. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to make a mistake look what I've done it would help if I switched the machine on 
it won't start if you don't switch it on. You'll find that's quite common. And there, of course, straight away it started because I switched it on. I switched the choke off. Now the engine's running. And now I'm going to come back to you and talk to you about these levers and what they do.